In this video, we'll take a look at simplifying compound fractions made up of monomials. You may recall, to find the least common denominator with variables, we always use the highest exponents on the variable. Of course, we always want to be sure we're checking in our fractions for any reducing. Let's take a look at some examples where we simplify the compound fraction with the least common denominator. In this problem, we see in the LCD there are several x's. We use that x factor, but also use the highest exponent of x squared. We will multiply each term, including the 1, by the x squared in the numerator. When we go back and reduce, we'll notice that x squared over x squared divides out completely on the right fractions, on top and bottom. On the denominator's left fraction, we have 1x in the denominator, dividing with 1x in the numerator, leaving simply an x behind. We now have x squared minus 9 over x plus 3. Now that the compound fraction is been eliminated, we're able to continue simplifying. Recall that before simplifying a fraction, we must first factor the fraction. x squared minus 9 in the numerator is a difference of squares. It will factor to x plus 3 times x minus 3 over the denominator of x plus 3. Notice they both have a factor of x plus 3, and we're left with our final answer is simply x minus 3. Let's take a look at another example that might be a little more involved that requires us to identify the LCD to clear the compound fraction. In this problem, we see x's and y's. The highest exponent on an x is cubed. The highest exponent on a y is cubed as well. This means the LCD will be x cubed, y cubed on each term. We'll multiply each term by x cubed, y cubed, and then reduce what we can. In the numerator, the y cubed divides out with the y cubed, x cubed with the x cubed, in the denominator, y cubed with y cubed, and x squared, dividing out two x's, leaves one x behind. Similarly, on the right side, the x cubes divide out completely, and the y squared divides two of the y's out, leaving one behind. We now have x cubed minus y cubed over x minus y. We now are ready to simplify, but before we can simplify, we must first factor the expression and only divide out factors. We cannot divide out an x and a y and get x squared minus y squared because they are not factored. However, you might remember that x cubed minus y cubed factors using the difference of cubes formula. This will be x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared over the denominator x minus y. You can review the difference of cubes formula by watching the video on factoring special products. Again, you notice that we've got a common factor that can divide out. We're simply left with x squared plus xy plus y squared for our final solution. When dealing with monomials, to find the least common denominator, we use the highest exponent on each factor.